What did you do that for? Well, that's what happens when closed cell phones fail under too much pressure. It can't release the air trapped inside its tiny sealed cells. That doesn't sound like a good thing. Is there a structure that can manage pressure better? You're right. It's not a good thing. And I'm really glad you asked. Let me show you how an open cell foam works. This tennis ball with holes is like an open cell foam. When pressure builds, the interconnected structure lets air flow in and out. Watch this. See how it manages pressure without popping or affecting performance? That's why an open cell foam excels in cushioning and sealing applications. Closed cell foam, like the balloon, traps gas in individual cells. This gives it high strength and a great initial seal without compression, making it ideal for high durability environments. But over time, it can lose its force and take a set. Open cell foam, like the tennis ball with holes, resists taking a set and handles repeated compression. It's perfect for dynamic applications where maintaining long-term flexibility and pressure management is essential. So both types of foams have their advantages and disadvantages. It really comes down to your application requirements? Exactly. Our teams are here to help you find the best material for your application. In our next video, we'll discover what compression set is and why it matters.